Hi everybody. How are you doing today? Well, it's a very rainy, stormy day over in my neck of the woods. Uh, it just calmed down for just a minute, so I guess it's a good time for me to do a little intro, but I wanted to warn you that at any point in this video, you might hear some rain coming down pretty heavily outside. I think that that's pretty relaxing, oh, pretty ASMR. -y. But if you're wondering about the background noise, that's that. Um, I hope you also find it relaxing. So, as you already guessed, today we're gonna be looking at more houses, doing our little 3D tour of some multi-million-dollar mansions compounds, homes, whatever you want to say. Sometimes they're so big, I feel like they've surpassed the home bracket and they're into a mansion or something else. But I've got five houses for us to look at. Uh, all across the world, even today, we're heading into a continent we haven't been to in a while, and I'm very excited about that one. If you want to jump to a specific house, you can click along the play bar, uh, and if you want more of these sorts of videos, um, I'll drop the link in my description box to, like, my playlist full of all these videos where I've got hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of content of these. Uh, and if you like the house tour videos and you want me to make more, look at the video. I like, um, engage with it to help the algorithm, you know, that, that sort of thing. And you can, um, you can leave a comment telling me your favorite house, your least favorite house. You guys always have some fascinating and very educated opinions on everything. And I really love hearing from them, even if I don't have time to respond to every comment. I do read pretty much every single comment. Without further ado, let's jump into our first home of the day. This is our first house, and it's in Key Largo in the Florida Keys. It already looks from the outside to be kind of like a dated 90s look, and I'm gonna guess that we're gonna see some 90s dated interiors. This is, uh, they're asking a, you know, a simple price of 32 million USD. It only has three bedrooms, which is pretty low. I'm in a three bedroom home, and I can confidently tell you that uh, my home cost a little under 32 million, and the interior square feet is 3,300, almost 3,400. On almost half an acre, which is pretty big, I feel like, for the keys. They probably chopped it up. Oh, and look at that. You're about 1990, so this is a classic 1990s home. Are you ready to go inside? See some, some 90s architecture? Okay, let's go. The rain is really starting to pick up, by the way, guys. I don't know if you hear it kind of faintly in the background. Um, it's been coming in and out, so... Ah, uh, if you hear that, it's just, yeah, just a nice rainy day. Okay, we're at the front door that we just saw from that picture, and we have this really nice, large, single front door, absolutely covered in windows all the way around, which is kind of fun. Uh, not very private, but then I do imagine that there's a lot of privacy in this area, as it's on an island. I'm curious about what these, like, these hooks in the wall are something would have gone through that, right? Anyway, let's turn around. Oh, it's raining so loud. It's been really nice. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I mean, ocean view. You would, you might even think for a second, based on this, that you're on a cruise with those sort of 360 panoramic ocean views. So step right into the living room. 
this is such a funny indication of it being like a 90s home because this is a multi multi million dollar mansion, right? And obviously when you think of rich people, you think of like big expensive technology, like you probably own the latest everything, the biggest everything and yet like look how small this TV is because of these this built-in is only so large that you can only fit so big of a TV because in the 90s they just didn't imagine that we'd be having such large thin TVs um, it's an interesting art collection why is there like a space here and something else there? I don't know so I always think that that's really funny is that such a classic trait of a lot of these 80s, 90s homes is that the living room is clearly not meant for like a large TV and sometimes they get around this by having like a separate theater room or something but for the ones that don't even have that I'm like, man if I had 33 million to spare you bet I would want my own theater experience I mean, I tried to create my own little home theater in my living room and my net worth is far under that so, it always seems funny, but then I like to watch movies a lot, and not everybody likes to watch movies. This fridge looks like really old and dated, but the stove and the microwave look new. These like rounded uh, counters and islands always look very 90s to me too. And a phone in the kitchen. So we have a pool. It's always funny when you see like a pool off the ocean it always makes me think of a, there's a scene in Superstore I love the show Superstore it's very cute if you're a fan of like The Office and Parks and Recreation try watching Superstore because it's like a more modern workplace comedy and two of my favorite characters Mateo and Cheyenne are talking about if they won the lottery and they had of money that they would buy like the super yacht and the yacht would have a pool on it just so like that they could tell the ocean like we don't need you we have our own water <laughs> something like that i think of that every single time i see a pool in the ocean like i don't need you ocean i have my own <laughs> okay our first bathroom looking very 90s kind of nostalgic actually has a full shower so this is almost more of a pool bath well, I mean it's on the other side of the pool though mm -hmm. I do kind of like these windows up here letting in light uh, I believe they're called like clear story windows uh, like overall 90s architecture is really not for me but I do like those sort of features here let's go right and looks like we've got a powder room in here with a like a selection of fragrances wow but this is just a guest bath i would guess right so are those fragrances for your guests to sample i do have things in my guest bathroom to be fair like i do have some products um like a body oil and like a moisturizer and like a face mist, stuff like that for my guests if they want to use but also stuff like uh, pads and tampons for my girls and um, tissues I guess so yeah, I think it's a nice idea to leave out stuff in your guest bathroom but I've never thought about perfume so this is a fascinating bedroom um, Everything over here is kind of blowing my mind right now. It's so weird. It's feeling like a main bedroom. So I take it that this is like, this is the closet and bathroom. Oh man, how do you guys feel about stuff like this? I like having a private area not in my bedroom where I can go take the day off, put the day on 
some days when I'm feeling a little stressed out. It's nice to have a calming end of day ritual, which I've thought about making a video on like a, um, well, I've thought about making like a spend the day with me or like a nighttime routine video. Uh, I might do both at some point, but uh, I recently acquired a speaker. Well, my, my, uh, one of my friends gifted me a couple of like little Nest speakers because they were switching to Alexa, I think, and I have one of the little Google Home ones. So they gave me their extra ones and I put one of them in my bathroom. So now part of my like nighttime routine is I will put on some like relaxing piano or guitar or one of my favorite songs and this must be the garage. And uh, you know the lights are low, I take off my makeup, I do my nighttime skincare routine and it's a really lovely little end of day process to kind of uh, unwind. I really like that. So maybe I'll make a video like that. It feels very luxurious too. Something simple as like having a little speaker in your bathroom to play your favorite music while you shower, while you get ready. It's really nice. I used to just kind of um, put my phone down on the counter and just play that. I'm chatting a lot today. Sorry. I don't know why. I'm telling you so many stories and we're only on the first house. It feels very Picasso. So it did it did only say there were three bedrooms, that's right. And um, this is kind of a small bedroom to say, you know, the size of the rest of the home, but it looks like it has a an ensuite. They definitely have a unique art style they like. And here's bedroom number three. And I don't know how I feel about this, like, the windows going all the way up to the ceiling and it breaks up the crown molding. I think that's a little weird. I would rather the crown molding just continue and the windows just went up to there. And like a lot of Florida homes, it looks to be a one story. So that is actually it. What do you guys think? I mean, I don't love it. I don't even like it. So this is so not worth 33 million to me. It's clearly all about those views and the the property. Like, you know, they always say the most important thing about real estate is location, 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 location. And I think it's pretty clear. It feels like it feels like thirty two million of what you're paying for is just location, and the re the other million is the house. That's honestly what it feels like to me. It is absolutely not my taste. So it does have its own like little dock. I imagine you probably have a boat at this point. I also don't really love these sort of open floor plans where it's like one giant room, living room, dining, kitchen. Like I've seen some exceptions to it where it's done pretty good, but I, I don't know, it feels like a big waiting room to me. Yeah, I didn't like this house very much. Um, luckily, I can't afford it, so <laughs> no worries there, guys. <laughs> it's just a bit out of my tax bracket. Alright, I'm ready to move on to the next home. How about you? Next, we're moving on to Utah, uh, other side of the United States, and we have what looks like a very big, modern, I don't want to say monstrosity, Time will tell if this is a monstrosity or not, but I'm seeing a lot of steel beams and it looks funny. Um, so this one is just a little under 17 million, but the size, this is a whopping 10,500 square feet minus two five bedrooms, and guys, there's an open house, although this is probably in the past for you, so I don't think you can make it. So this is a much newer home, 2017, and we are 
instead of on the beach, this time we're in the mountains, outside Salt Lake City. It looks pretty sprawling from these pictures, so let's see what it looks like inside. Okay, it took me a really long time to try to figure out where the entrance to this home is. I, I'm guessing it's here. Uh, looks like basketball. I was gonna say court, but basketball hoop outside, which is kind of fun. And there's like this really dramatic walkway. I love that. It's so extra. That's really fun. But I'm gonna guess this is the door. It's one of those things that turn on an axis. And, um, okay, and open straight into this long hallway, which goes either side. And really odd that it, like, there's a little fireplace, like, right there, right in front of the door. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, and right away, steel beams. Okay, they shut the door. Thank goodness. Let's continue in this room. It's like a little sitting room, I guess. Um, a lovely view of the uh, mountains. I really love all the windows, so I do feel like I like that. I love a little natural light in a house. Um, but for me, like the last home, I don't particularly care about looking at the ocean. Maybe it's because, like I said, I grew up in Florida, so I just see uh, erosion and hurricanes. and <laughs> It's not nice to me. Uh, whereas in the Milky Mountains, this feels safer. Okay, kitchen is right here. I do think it's kind of fun that we have a giant, like, cold and yellow stove. You know, that's a little different. Everyone and their mother does just a plain stainless steel gray. Uh, so, I like this pop of color, and they're trying to continue this color in the backsplash, even though I personally don't like this backsplash. I do appreciate that commitment to a color theme. Oh, more of it in the bar stools, and got like brass um, hardware, which is kind of cute, and the bowls. Uh, it's an odd kitchen layout, isn't it? You have like an L-shaped island in the middle. It does feel like a lot of workspace, but I don't think it makes a lot of sense to have like bar stools here. Because a lot of people, I think, would be standing here in front of the stove. And it wasn't until I bought my own house that I started to really think about how important kitchen layout is. And I learned the importance of the... There's like a, there's like a work zone, a triangle. And it's from the fridge, to the stove, to the sink. You got a sink there, and a sink there. So if you put a little pin on the spots, blah, 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 you want to have easy access, but, but plenty of space between those. Like, you don't want the the fridge to open up into the, the sink or the stove. You know, you want to have room because you're going to be moving between those three points a lot. So the sink is actually really, really far away from the stove, but then there is a little sink there. So I think it's not a huge deal. Um, the sink is kind of fascinating. They've definitely gone for like that retro kind of look. Um, I think I like it. It's interesting, at least. Overall, it does seem like a very useful kitchen. Uh, if I had loads and loads of money, I would want a really nice big kitchen, loads of rooms for all my appliances, baking equipment, and tons of room to be working on it. Because no matter how rich I would ever become, I think I'd still always love to cook and bake. So I think it's really nice that it's a it's a big kitchen. Although if we have bar stools here, why do we need them in the kitchen as well? Does not make any sense to me. More. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these beams are everywhere. If you like the industrial look, it's great. Personally, not the biggest fan. It's a little cold. I like cozy, and I think you can make industrial cozy, but it's, I think it's harder. Yeah. So we've got another fireplace, kind of glass enclosed. Let's go over here. Maybe an office? Yeah. 
office with more nice windows and it opens out on the deck. There's that big steel cross we saw and looks like we've got like a fire pit. I like the amount of little like outdoor seating areas we have here. It makes it all feel like a little private, like you have your own little balcony. And looks like we maybe have a, a grill out here, you know, during the summer months. Okay, what about in here? Oh, is this? Oh, interesting. So we've combined a bit of like a butler pantry with a secondary kitchen with a wet room, mud room, mud room. You know where you come and you take your shoes off and you hang your coat up and stuff like that. Uh, interesting to put it all in one, but there's another fridge down there. It's probably a pretty good use of space, to be honest. Okay, uh, looks like maybe a little theater room in here. That's really nice. As I was saying, this is what I would want. Like, you don't have to have a big TV in the main living area, but as long as there was a comfy place where you and your family could go watch movies, I think that's all that matters. We have a pretty powder room. I kind of like this weird light fixture. It looks uh, organic, like a bug or like a flower. I kind of like it. And there's an elevator across from that. Which reminds me of the little elevator that I had to use. I'm gonna go to the other side. Um, I went out in Belgium. Uh, the little B&B I stayed at had the tiniest elevator and it was so slow. <laughs> it was so slow that I decided um, I'm just gonna even though I was on the top floor, like the fourth floor, um, I was like, mm -hmm. it, it, it takes like a solid three minutes to get to the fourth floor. I'm not doing this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's cute that we've got like a little nook. I would think this would make like a fun spot for kids, you know, do your homework, play video games or something. Just like a kids only hangout zone. Let's go down here where it looks like we have a another play zone. That's fun. Always really fun. Came and got a wet bar. What's with this weird area? This is odd, right? This weird wall. And then why doesn't it go all the way to the end there? That's really odd. Um, okay, another bathroom. Full bathroom. That's an odd shower. Like, fact that it's flush in the wall. I don't often see that, but then it looks like we have really low ceilings in this bathroom. So, uh, I guess I get it. And a little, you could play a lot of RPGs there. This would be the RPG zone. Do you guys do that? When like we do these house tours, or if you do this on your own time, do you imagine where you would put everything? Because I definitely do that. I'm like, okay, this is where my office would go. <laughs> this is where my board games would go. This is where I'd be playing RPGs. This would be my reading room. Yeah, I definitely do stuff like that. Okay, we're going down. Down, 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 down. Okay, sauna. I'm not a rich person. I'm without a sauna. I can't believe 33 million in the last home and no sauna. And do we have a bedroom? What a fun bedroom. This is clearly like a kid's hangout room. How fun does that look though? That is super fun. And the kids have their own couch with this amazing like huge sort of roll up blinds and sliding. Yeah. is a such a fun space if you're you know vacationing with your family is this a vacation home or do you think you live here permanently i don't know i i don't like that i don't like weird steel beam shutting through the bathroom at a odd angle i don't like that i so far been okay with this home 
that I actively dislike and that is really weird. Still beans are definitely one of my least favorite parts. Okay, little laundry room. Very no nonsense. Um this is weird. That's odd. Alright, another bedroom. It does so far seem to be more of a vacation home given the amount of beds that they're squeezing in. A closet in here and a bathroom here. Whenever I see like rooms like that, like are you expected to stay with like a partner and like another person and their partner? That feels awkward. Would you do that? <laughs> in one room. Yeah. Look at that. The thermostat's going over the steel bar. Are these, are these load bearing? Cause like, why would you do that? Why would you even put it there? It's just blocking the entrance into this room. I don't get it. Maybe it's load bearing. What was going? Oh yeah, this was just that. Okay. So we've been on the lowest floor. Is there anything else down here? Yeah, we missed the whole area. Uh, the main lawn. Main laundry and another little s oh, private hot tub. That is super fun. Yeah, I like all the little nooks and crannies of this home. I don't know why, but I find that fun and cozy. And then, do we have a little like workout? Sp oh, is this the is this the main bedroom? It has to be. Look at the size of that fireplace. Well, I kind of wouldn't imagine that the main living quarters were tucked away to the side over here, but I kind of dig it. So, tons of space, as you can see, private little balcony, and it's right next to that hot tub, which is super nice. But it looks like we have an attached workout room. And you can even look outside and still see the view. That is so nice. I always tell myself, I was like, I would work out more if I had a dedicated workout room. And like, let's be honest, I would not. It would just be a waste of money and space. I'm trying to figure out, I guess, the toilets in there. Um, wow. This is a kind of brutalist looking shower. Lots of room for all your toiletries though. It's a uh, it's not bad if you like that sort of thing. It looks like our closet is down here. Oh, sorry, and <laughs> the, uh, the other bathroom is down here. Oh, can't believe I forgot about the his and hers bathroom. Or the his and his bathroom, or the hers and hers bathroom. I just don't understand why you need two bathrooms, but maybe that's the poor in me. I don't, cause like, even if I had an insane amount of money to afford these homes, I just, I don't hate my partner enough to be like, you need to be in a completely different bathroom. Like, like a little vanity area for all my products. Sure, that's fine. But a completely separate shower, a completely separate toilet area and bathtub, that's not necessary. Also, TV in the closet, is that necessary? I get this is a vanity, so you're probably spending time there, but how much time do you spend changing? Although there's also laundry in here, so maybe it's for doing laundry too. This is an interesting home, and then again, having a little hot tub out there is super nice. And another laundry there. I wouldn't think you'd need the laundry right there if you also have one in the closet. Like, one or the other. I don't know. You don't need both. I already forget to take the laundry out of just one room. I can't be having another room. That looks really comfy. So, there's the other. But the elevator comes out, and Oh me, I love like a little reading window nook. Love that. That looks cozy. That looks like a spot my cats would curl up onto. 
It was really nice, like a little sweet. I could see like the teenage child, oldest child being up here in their own little nest. Oh, and it actually is like out at ground level. Okay, I didn't realize that. This is a, this is a really nice bathroom. Like, and this isn't even, you know, the main bathroom. And there's a balcony outside the bathroom. Crazy. This is a huge house. Um, so far I like it. I really just didn't like the last one, so anything was better. Uh, so, so far this is my favorite home of the day, but we are only on the second house. So, things could change. So, did I miss anything? Sometimes when these... Houses are so big, I tend to miss stuff. That was the bottom floor. There was the other floor. I guess we didn't go in the garage. If you wanted to go in the garage, it looks like this. There's a pet wash station, which is fun. Always nice to know that the rich like their pets. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. These pets probably live better lives than us and are more spoiled. Ah, uh, and the elevator opens from both sides, so... That's pretty nice for good accessibility. Okay, and then we went to the top, so that was the whole house. My favorite so far. Oh, let's see. So this is very exciting. We are going to be touring our first home in France today. Uh, normally, and I thought this was like the law in France, all the other 3D tours have all been locked with the password, uh, which I was told is the norm, and this is a huge reason why I stick to the US and Canada, because the 3D tours are always publicly available, and realtors, whoever set this up, tend to do them more. So, the only reason I don't go to other countries is because they don't have properties with the 3D tours, and when they do, sometimes they're locked. But I checked this one, and it's, it's open, it's, you know, available to look at, so I was, I'm super excited to actually go around it. It's in the Del Sur, Côte d'Azur, which I definitely have heard of before, and it's uh, just under 60 million USD, or 14 million 800,000 euros. Seven bedrooms, 4,843 square feet, a little under three quarters of an acre. And it doesn't tell us like what year was built, but it's a few steps from the sea in the beaches of Pampelon. So, without reading more, let's go in because I'm very excited for our first French home. So I do believe that this is being used as some sort of resort. Um, expect to see that. Maybe. And when I looked it up, I thought I saw resort. But I don't know. Um, I don't think they even blurred that license plate. I'm not gonna linger on it. But we have this like really lovely lush walk and this weird red alligator seems to be a sign that says love as we approach. I like this sort of natural outdoorsy feel. Which way do I go? <laughs> Probably this way. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of interesting art in this home, I think. Maybe this is just a home. I think this is just a home, actually, now. But again, clearly art collectors, art enthusiasts. Uh, so far, the like architectural style of the home is just okay. I kind of was expecting a bit more based on the exterior. Uh, the kitchen is. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it just. It's just like a bunch of cat or dog food just like on the ground no bowl but then there's a bowl of water next to it and <laughs> now I'm not saying that that's 
dog pee. But I think that's dog pee. <laughs> this is a real estate ASMR first. I have to move on. I'm so sorry for showing you that. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to move past that. That is... Mm, at least it's tile. <laughs> so it cleans up easier. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to be thinking of this house as the dog piss house forever now. There doesn't seem to be lots of room between the fridge and the counter, which is not super luxurious. And the way they've crammed the, uh, the bin next to, like, another counter, like, so you can't even use that? I, it was interesting when you see, like, clearly the bones of this house are pretty luxurious, but it seems that the way people live... I'm sorry, I have to cut myself off. Um, and I thought that the dog pee on the floor was going to be the most surprising part of this house. There is something in this direction that I don't even want to show you. I know, I'm leaving such an air of mystery. You can go look if you want. Uh, but it does have racist connotations. I'm just telling you now. I We actually saw something kind of similar in a another home in the US though. I am not familiar with French culture. I'm not French. Uh, however, I do know in the UK there are these like old racist dolls um, that are still like a thing, you can still find them in like vintage stores and stuff, and I've even seen, I've even seen a couple in vintage stores. Uh, I don't know if this is like similar, like the like a French version, but I just, you know, when you look at it, something, and you just know it's wrong. So, we're not even gonna look at that. I am, s I was already not gonna, lie, I was already heavily judging the people that live in this house. Because what I was about to say was, it's interesting when you can tell the bones of a house are very luxurious and very nice, but the way people are clearly, like, living in it is a not very luxurious way. It almost makes you feel better about yourself. Like, I might not have as much money, but I keep my space, um, lovely and tidy, you know? Or, but then I was like, is it mean to judge someone who's messy? Because that doesn't say who you are as a person. You can be messy and be a good person or a bad person. But then I saw that and everything went out the window. And yeah, I... I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to get into talking about things that are gonna be stressful for everybody. So we're not about that on the channel. We're gonna be nice and inclusive and friendly. We're gonna look at their weird art. It reminds me of the alligator one outside, just being this kind of plain red. Um, I got a, oh, another alligator. I think they really like alligators. Yeah, also judging you because the TV's too high. That TV's just too you say that like that. I definitely am like a, a TV to eye kind of person. Like, it needs to be at eye level. <laughs> eye level. <laughs> I was even worried because I recently got a new TV and it's kind of big. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to be looking up too much? But it's, no, not really. If only I, I look up like maybe like two inches higher than I used to. So the outdoor area is lovely. I would say this is the highlight of the property. This pool looks so comfy and fun. I like the stairs down to it. We've even got a little water feature down here. This would be good for doing laps and it's a sport pool. Sport pools are deeper in the middle. See the slope? 
then on the ends so you can play like w water uh water like volleyball stuff like that you know where you can stand on either ends rather than a pool that just gets deeper and deeper and you can't stand on one of the ends so it would be deeper in the middle i just is that a hot tub or if it is it's pretty small i can't tell if that's a hot tub or not Okay, so now I know they have a cat. I was thinking that was dog pee, but cat because cats just don't like pee on the floor unless there's something wrong. Uh, which, to be fair, there could be. Man, this house is so tough because, like, on one hand, dog pee, racist thing. On the other hand, there was a cat. This house is really a roller coaster for my emotions. This, that looks comfy. Now I kind of like want to know how how often can I see this cat? You know, like it's clearly here and it's there. Is it here too? Yeah, it just stays there. It just doesn't budge. <laughs> it's almost like a statue. Where does it go? Oh, I have a funny story to tell you. I was going to say cats don't really pee on the floor unless there's something wrong. Um, when I was when I was house touring, when I was buying a house, uh, I, I was touring a house that I really liked. Almost ended up buying it. This didn't impact whether I liked it or not. But I went into the main master bedroom, and right in the middle of the bed was a lovely little pile. like smack dab in the middle almost like a little gift to us and we walked in and me and the realtor were like oh <laughs> and i think we even messaged the the owner though and we're like i think your cat is sick <laughs> um but they said that, like i think the cat had been stressed about stuff like the move and everything but uh it was so funny because we we're like oh this is really nice and then we walked in there and we're like what is that smell yeah. So a pretty big bathroom. Is this a main bathroom, or do you think they all just kind of? I like when they all have like a, you know, an entrance inside and outside, so you can like leave the premises. Uh, that doesn't feel like a main sort of bedroom, though. Oh, I didn't mean to go in here. There's art in there that looked weird. I didn't want to look at it. So yeah, there's just kind of a lot of bedrooms that look kind of similar. Almost like a sort of B&B, but I don't think it is. It's not giving me any other indication that this is a resort. It very much looks like a single family home. So they have a little workout room. Storage and bathroom. Bathrooms look pretty bulk standard European to me. Ah, here we go. Main bedroom for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, gotta be honest. Uh, their taste in art is not the same as mine, but you know, everybody likes different things. Some people even like art with racist connotations, and uh, I don't, so. Here's the bathroom. It's nice. Is that a toilet or a bidet? That's just a bidet, right? Where's the toilet? Is there not a toilet? so confused. There's no way that's a toilet and a bidet, right? That's just a bidet. I'm, I'm very confused. Is there just no toilet here? Man, this feels like something that I'm too American to get. I wonder where the cat went. Did we see the whole thing? There's like a second floor. 
Yeah, how do we get up here? The, this is fun with the faux grass. What does that say? Oh. What am I looking at? Okay, it's saying you can see the ocean. Okay, I thought it was gonna explain what this thing is. Uh, but it's just saying you can see the ocean from here. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. I can't really see it from here. View the ocean, yeah. I, I don't know, because the view that I'm seeing in this picture is not what I'm seeing here. I would have to be taller. And to be fair, I don't know how high this camera is set. Maybe it's shorter than the average person. So this is a nice rooftop, um, but all my favorite parts of this house have been the exterior, which is definitely a common theme in like a lot of homes. Sometimes I hate the interior and I love the exterior. Uh, this is definitely one. I really just don't like the house in general. I really thought I was gonna like it, like way more. Oh, look, there was a cat. Do you think it's the same cat? Kinda looks like the same cat. Then maybe it's not their cat and it's just a cat that lives locally. Or maybe it is their cat, and it's an outdoor cat. I've never been someone who understands outdoor cats because, I don't know, I would be terrified to like not know where my cat is at all times. Oh, here's the stairs. I couldn't find the stairs for some reason. Um, yeah, plus like, I would just be so, I'd be so worried all the time and I'd be worried like that they're gonna be stolen or hurt and also that they would be like terrorizing the local uh, the other wildlife what's over there? garage maybe? they're not gonna show us anyway uh I think it's a thumbs down for my first French home sorry I'm sorry if you're French and you're watching this this is obviously not indicative of all your homes but I didn't like this one. Let me know if you did, though. Let's move on to a different home. <laughs> this house is in Maine, and a lot of ocean hose, uh, hoses? Where am I from? Houses today. Uh, this one's definitely very close. And I thought it, I thought it was really interesting. It intrigued me that it looks like three houses in one. Uh, it's in Kennebunkport, which is a really fun sounding city. City? 12 million USD, 5 bedrooms, 5,064 square feet. It was built in 1969 and looks like it has quite a sprawling sort of driveway if this is all the property. Look how fancy the yard is. When they do those like lines in the, in the grass, I'm like, oh, that is so, so bosh. Like, okay, 275 feet of Oh yeah, and it's over an acre. It didn't say up there, but, um, very interesting how this is gonna look inside. So, let's go in. Oh, and by the way, this house is pending, so you and I will not be buying this house, my friends. In case you, you know, just don't get your hopes up. Uh, I do like the exterior. It almost looks like wisteria along the cladding of the house, which is really pretty. It's very private. Kilts go inside. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. This is not what I was expecting from the outside. I don't know about you, but modernized it, and I don't think I like that. While I do gripe a lot about old architecture, like, you know, I don't like the 90s stuff, and I also don't love 80s, and this was a 1979 home, but I like modern amenities, but with, like, a, a classic timeless look. So I feel like there was probably a way to update this while, like, keeping a bit of the old charm 
while bringing it into the 21st century. Turquoise couch it is definitely bold. I'm not gonna lie, this couch looks uncomfortable. <laughs> like, it looks like it, would, like it would make a lot of noise. Like when you sit on it, like it'd be like... <laughs> Like every time you move, <laughs> it's um wow. This couch is wild, and the artwork. So you can clearly see the house kind of splitting into those three different quadrants. Let's go around this corner, and it's not a two-story. Oh, I thought for sure it would be just got really high vaulted. Oh, it is. Okay, so just not right here. This is the second story over there. Oh, great. More of this couch. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I do like this blanket. I like the yellow. That's a color I really like. I mean, personally, I do not enjoy the way this is decorated, but I'm not rich, so what do I know? Nothing, clearly. Are they vegan? This is really interesting. Uh, is there meant to be a table here? Like this, like, built-in? Because right now it just looks like a couch, but I would think that there would be a table here. Uh, so you can have an eat-in kitchen. Like, that looks lovely to me. Everyone, you know, gathered around there looking out at the ocean while you eat. Oh my gosh. Why did you do this? Other than that, the kitchen is really blindingly white. And I have a white kitchen. I like white kitchens. But not like this. <laughs> not like this. The reason why I like it is because it's really easy to see dirt, and I can it like encourages me to keep it clean. I understand that that's a detriment to some people. Like if you if you don't like cleaning your kitchen, you might be like, oh, I want I want dark countertops, so I don't have to see how often I need to clean. But I want to be encouraged to keep my space clean, so I like it. Uh, it's also kind of timeless, I think. But that. Uh, this is just not for me. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the computer. It's one of those really old iMacs. I remember seeing those. Cute. Okay. There's a lot of this artwork. Some of them look like if I was like a kid, like going down this hallway late at night, some of these paintings would give me like nightmares. Alright, our very first bedroom. And there's a, like a plaque on the wall. I don't know, I won't I won't read it, but that's interesting. See, this feels like a very typical kind of uh, Cape Cod style beach room theme. But that doesn't seem to match like the way the rest of the house has been done up. So that's really odd. So did the people who bought the house, were they the ones who renovated it or no? This is probably so far the only room I like. Uh, the wood paneling it feels nice and warm, bringing in that much needed warmth into this rather cold, clinical feeling kind of home. You can add in as many turquoise couches as you want. It is not livening up the house the way I would want. But, uh, yeah, so far I, don't, I, can't, I can't say that I like this house. Even with the window seat, you're trying to win me over. Window me over with the window seat, but it's not happening. Nothing can make me like this house at this point. I would love to eat those words, though. That is a lot 
of jars. I was gonna count, but then I see there's more over there. Maybe they collect, like... Well, was gonna, these are all perfume bottles, I feel like. But what are these? These aren't all old perfume bottles. Definitely think the people who live here are very interesting. Uh, I don't know if we would be friends or not. Okay, let's go see what's happening on the second floor. More interesting artwork. Oh, well, that's like a loft bedroom. Kind of fun. The bed and the furniture here, again, just not matching the vibe of the house. This almost is, is giving the southwest cabin vibe. Another like a little cozy reading nook area and you're still not winning me over still not winning me over I'm such a pessimist today this is a kind of fun bathroom though hmm I just really like the wood though I think everything else not necessarily doing it for me Look, there's another one of those. I said, like, well, this one pokes out a little bit, but the other one was like flush in the ceiling. Can a bunk port. Beautiful view. Beautiful view again. You're paying for the land, you're paying for the view. This finally feels like a bit of maybe what the old house looked like with this wood paneling. This is like the dog's area. That's pretty freaking cute. Although, my dog would not like sitting up here because it's hard. She wants a soft, cushy spot. She would be on the couch. Yeah. This is... The theme of this room is dog. Like... Just dog. Dogs. As many as possible. Um, fair play. They found a theme and my god did they stick with it. So do I like this house? No, I don't think I do. Do I like the view? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like the view? Even though, like I said, I don't particularly care about looking at the beach. It's, I can still admit when they're nice views, for sure. <laughs> Inside the house, don't like. Uh, wonder how many of you agree with me that like, the the modern the modernification of it just isn't very inspiring, and I would have liked to see something different. I'm definitely not necessarily one of those purists that's like we need to leave historical homes alone. I, not every single home I think merits like conservation efforts just for virtue of it being old, but there definitely is like a timeless architectural style and design style and we haven't stuck with that at all here um this living room fascinates me in like a nauseating sort of way i'm sorry i'm being so negative but that's kind of the point of these homes right we're here to judge and laugh and have fun and that reminds me that on one of these videos someone told me that i was I was too opinionated on these, so they were unsubscribing to me. I was like, isn't the whole point for me to give my opinions? You guys don't have to agree with me. We can still be friends, like I promise. If you love this turquoise couch, I am not gonna think less of you as a person. I just don't like this couch. You can like it. You can put it in your home. I would still come to your home. I would still sit on your couch. I'm just not putting it in my home. Alright. <laughs> but if you so strongly <laughs> hate the things I say in this, then I guess you can unsubscribe. I don't know. I'm always just gonna be very brutally honest on my channel. And I like when you guys are too. Like I was really honest. <laughs> okay. Before I go off on that tangent, let's go look at the last house. 
The rain seems to have completely stopped. I don't know. I thought it was gonna rain all day. I hear a little bit. Does everyone really like tapping outside? Okay, for the last house, we're in Vegas, baby. Las Vegas, Nevada, and this looks like a Vegas kind of mansion here. So we're asking prize 10 million. Just a simple 10 million. Six bedrooms, 8,763 square feet on one acre. An acre in Vegas? Yeah. This house was built in 2016 and it actually does sound like the rain is picking up now. This seems to be as close to the entrance as I can get. Uh, if, I think we have to go through this like walkway. Yeah, the rain's definitely picking up. All right. Hopefully this will lull you off to sleep. I'm gonna try to be super super calm and relaxed now. So, please cross your fingers that this house is not so wild and crazy that I'm gonna need to scream or anything. I, uh, quite like this. It does kind of feel like you're entering, like, an expensive hotel or something. So, three entrances. Bing, bang, boom. Gonna choose the main one. I hate when they do that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. A lot to take in. There's a baby ground here. This is a... Uh, some Vegas opulence for sure. I mean, after after the last few homes, I'm not, I feel like they've kind of been decorated minimalistically. And I'm so glad that we are ending this with some bougie grandeur because I I missed this. Yeah. It's decorated pretty well, I would say, even. I mean, it's not to my taste. But you know how you can, like, appreciate when something is, is done well? You're like, wow, I don't really like this for me, but you did a good job. That's how I feel about this. I also like th these like unique pieces. I really like unique looking furniture and uh, decorative pieces because as I've been shopping for home decor and furniture, I feel like I see a lot of the same old, same old and it gets so exhausting. And seeing a unique piece is really exciting, even if it is a giant well, the kitchen is um relatively normal and nice, and then like this living room feels pretty a uh, average, I would say. Like not just not like multi million dollar rich. Although it just occurred to me that there are five TVs on this wall. One, two, three, four, five. Is that one on top of a TV? That's a TV. Six. Six TVs. Okay. So, I mean, I had thought that it was kind of a, a more normal looking home up until that point. Uh, the kitchen's okay. I don't really love this zebra stripe looking countertop. And then we've folded up the zebra stripe chairs, but... They must really love their cats. Relatable. Oh, it's a cool kind of table. The ones that have like the glass piece cut there. I kind of like that. There's a table like that in The Sims. <laughs> I'm always doing that. I'm always relating furniture. I see in these to like furniture that you can get in The Sims. <laughs> okay, we got a little butler's pantry and oh my gosh. Do they have like their own like little speakeasy back there in a way? That is really fun. They've made like a little kind of alcohol closet that looks like a confessional or something. It's really fun, to be honest. Um, I like fun things like that in the house. Okay, so that one door led to this office. 
which, uh, again, not decorated to my tastes, but it's been done well. I do like kind of the dark glamour look with sort of religious undertones throughout, <laughs> in a way. Which seems weirdly, like, fitting for Las Vegas. Like, I don't know. It's Sin City, so... Yeah, a lot of dark, gloomy, moody looks here. I wish I were bold enough to pull off a moody room. Um, I'm just not, though. Sometimes I look at them, you know, moody bedroom, moody living room, and I'm like, oh, it looks nice. Like a dark academia look. Rich velvets and dark colors. Dark woods. But overall, as I said, I am just not bold enough to pull that off. That is quite a light fixture. What are we in Phantom of the Opera? Like, there's actually a lot of light fixtures in here. <laughs> like, so many. And, you know, a rocking horse. And then the bathroom, like, totally just doesn't match. Oops. At all. The rest of the vibes. But hey, they use the same kind of soap as me. They're just like me. <laughs> okay, and then they take it to the laundry room. Yeah. Oh, pretty standard. Okay. Garage, probably. So let's see what's happening on the other side of the home. This looks like a master suite, doesn't it? Man, they, there's a lot of interesting horse art, too. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Return to Phantom of the Opera. Uh, I mean, they have a theme, and they're sticking with it. Like, can't fault them for that. They have a definite look, and uh, it shows. Wow. It's kind of a fun whip bar area. These dark drapes, I really like the recessed lighting. That's something that I didn't think I would like, but I really like now. It just kind of elevates a space, and these huge windows are very nice. There's no way that the curtains go across that. I'm very confused. They don't- that just doesn't look like enough curtain, you know? Okay, this is a door taking you outside. That's really nice. Like, that's definitely enough curtain to cover that. That's enough to cover that. That's enough to cover that. But this is a really, really- unless it's in the wall somehow. I'm just a person that needs a lot of, like, darkness to sleep. Um, I prefer it. So. So clearly this is a TV hidden in here. I guess they didn't want to put it above the fireplace, or that was too far away or something. <gasps> a cat! Oh my gosh! It looks like a ragdoll, sort of. Like, my, my two kitties, they're both ragdoll. So that's two homes that we've been blessed with cats. No sighting of dogs, but dogs are a lot harder to spot in these tours because they tend to follow the people around, you know. Whereas the cats usually just lay back and they're like, what are you doing? What is happening? Oh, well, that's really cute, to be honest. That's super cute. The only thing I like about this house. I mean, it's okay. As I said, it's totally not for me. Like, I don't really like all this dark wood, but I can just appreciate that it's uh, consistent all the way through the home and that they've really gone for it. Oh, wow, they have one of those, like, have they done this for mobility reasons or for, like, comfort? Because, um, there's a lot of, like, soaking tubs that are tall rather than long. 
so that you can fit like more of yourself in it but then also the ones with these doors are also for for mobility reasons uh, easier accessibility I don't think I've ever seen a tub quite like this it looks pretty comfy though to be honest and wow this is quite a shower it's a lot of glass to keep clean though it does have a beautiful little view out here little oh this little like private garden area that is so nice i think this will be my second favorite home just for a lot of the touches like that not necessarily the way the home looks on the inside which is but it's Vegas. Wait, this connects to another? What? Okay, now that's interesting. This closet connects to yet another bathroom. A mirrored tub. You guys, I've never seen a mirrored tub. Have you? when I keep thinking we've seen it all in this house, like... What? Is this another his and hers bathroom situation? That last bathroom was very large though, but then this... Oh, I mean, this is quite cute. Oh my gosh, wow, look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, multiple pairs of glasses. This is quite a nice little glam room, isn't it? It's like a separate bathroom, but then it's attached to a separate bedroom. So I'm really confused. This bedroom is technically connected to this bedroom and this bathroom. So what is happening? What's going on? Do you think this is a couple that sleeps in like separate bedrooms? I don't necessarily get that vibe, but it's really odd that they connect like that. Oh. Sorry, I normally like don't like to dock so I live in these homes, but I definitely just saw Obama. I mean, I'm not saying Obama like there. I'm saying I think these people are like well connected and there's Clinton looks like I mean they live in a really expensive multi-million home in Las Vegas so we're definitely talking people with connections there's a sword up there there's kind of a cute like, little office area though like under the stairs rain's picking up again it's so lovely I wonder what's in there okay we'll go up the stairs in a second let me make sure we saw it oh no what's this Oh my gosh. It's like a little like smoking room kind of. So this is what I mean by moody. Like this is perfect. Like like this hutch with the trinkets in it, dark wood, dark walls, sconces like this, gold velvet frames, dark velvets. This is exactly what I mean that I do kind of like this look a lot. But could I do it in my own home? No, because I'm just not bold enough. There's a guy over there. You reckon it's people that live here, or is it uh, people showing the home? There's too many mirrors in this home. Some mirrors is okay, but I, I can't do too many. Okay, so let's go up the stairs now, because I couldn't tell this was a, a one or two story. Okay, we've got another little desk up here. And... Man, are they not gonna let us in there? N no, it looks like well, they are. No? They might not. It looks like a desk. Office area. Okay, but there is actually another second floor. How do you get over there? Ah, the stairs were here. 
we've been in this house for so long that I've been forgetting. I don't even think I saw the staircase. I saw this and all that. This house just keeps giving. It keeps going and going. Okay, another. Oops. Do we have like a little home cinema up here or something? No, it just seems to kind of overlook the living room and another kind of like theater area. It looks like, you know, like actors on the wall, maybe. I don't know. I don't know who lives here, but I bet some savvy people could probably easily figure it out. This is a very royal looking bedroom. They don't seem to want to let us inside. We can kind of go out on this balcony. Ah, okay, well, we were going outside anyway. So, again, I love the outdoors. I say again, but like, I don't know, that's a common theme. Is they really like nice landscaping that a lot of rich people seem to have. Um, I just like greenery, and I'm not good at greenery myself, so it's nice to see what others do. Man, I really wish that they had, like, more clear where we were walking, because it drives me crazy when we just, like, shoot halfway across the property. This is really nice. Okay, so we have, like, a full lap pool with this view. Wow. This is very, very nice. And then... This was very misleading, like, where we were going. Oh, look how cute it is over there. Ugh. Oh. I definitely would say I like this house, given that I could change the, the way the inside looks. Oh, but all this, definitely worth it. Wow, this is a huge workout room. I'd get rid of everything, and it would be a dance studio, and I would change the floors, because it doesn't look. So they are cushioned. Okay. Still, I don't think it'd be good to dance on. I would put in some sort of springboard. Marley or uh, wood or something. It's been too long since I danced. I kind of miss it. I know there's other parts to this. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I've had enough of that. <sighs> Come on. This is so nice though. Look at that. Look how lovely. It looks really relaxing out here. I bet this retracts. Little summer kitchen and little... Wait, is this a guest house? No, it's just a straight up spa. Straight up spa. With, oh my gosh, get your hair cut here. Get a massage. Get a Hydro massage. So it's some sort of like water bed thing. Oh, I remember in the last one I ended up looking up that little like massage pod thing they had. I think I gotta look this up too. Hydro massage. Okay, I just saw two wildly different quotes, and you know it's expensive because the actual website was like, get a free quote, and I won't even tell you. One thing I saw said three thousand dollars, which actually doesn't seem like that much money if you're that rich and you have a whole dedicated spa room. The other quote I saw was 27,000 euros. So I don't know what the real price is and I wasn't going to stick around to look very much to be honest. Um, okay, that's how we get into here. What about over here? Oh my gosh, what is happening in here? Is this where you have your podcast? This is so... Whoa. What happens in here? What is the point of this room? Where you like wait for your next treatment? Ah, and there's the sauna. Every rich person home needs a sauna. This is crazy. I can't fathom. Like, oh, I'm feeling a little blah today. I think I'm going to go into the 
our other part of the house and have a treatment you know, and like pay to have someone come give you a treatment this would actually be such an amazing dance studio with all this natural light and like the view, gorgeous and I think I see horses back there I definitely see horses so all the pictures of the horses inside was definitely appropriate oh my gosh, and in the back Oh, this is, this is a full-on stable. Can I walk around? Ma'am, why won't you let me walk around the stables? Horse girls, calling all horse girls. What do you guys think? Now this is, like, probably one of the best values, I must think. Huge house, pool, stables, everything in Las Vegas. I'd say this is almost worth the 10 million. Um, like, I still don't think I love it, but there, you have to admit there's a lot happening on this property that kind of makes it worth it. Like, this whole area out here is pretty amazing. It's funny how light and bright it feels compared to the inside, which is so dark and moody, don't you think? I was hoping they'd show us a little bit more of that. Ah. Is that- is that fire real? It just doesn't look real. It looks like Photoshop, does it not? Does anyone agree with me? It looks weird. place is just fascinating to me. I think it's my second favorite home overall because like I said, I could change out the <laughs> I could change out the exterior or the interiors and I also don't really care about living in Vegas so the other home that I liked more gets a point for being in like a better area to me and overall me liking the floor plan of the home more. Uh, this isn't a bad floor plan, but like the whole business with the two bedrooms connecting with the closets and that is really confusing me. And I would love some answers. I really don't. What was that about, guys? Um, I also don't need a stable, so I think that'd probably be overkill for me. Oh, we didn't even see this area, but that's super cute. And it's really fun the way it's all lit up. I love that they just include a picture of the horse. Like, this comes with the house. Oh, cute. Oh, he's looking like, hi. So we got a cat and a horse. Two horses with this one. We're so lucky. Okay, how many pictures of the horses are you going to include? Because, like, they don't come with the property. It like, reminds me of, like, in real estate listings when they include, like, a close-up of someone's decor on a table. And you're like, why are you? Including this in the listing. Is the furniture coming with the house? No? Why are you showing me this? <laughs> it's so silly. It looks like a mini. Actually, they might all be minis. Ninja horses? That's a miniature horse. They're all minis. I'm pronounced like I'm gonna be really calm and relaxing at the end. I'm sorry, but miniature horses, guys. You have to let me squeal a little bit over them. They're so cute. I'm so sorry. I'm making atrocious faces, I know, but they're so cute. I love animals. Fascinating. And you can see the skyline of New Vegas. I mean, Vegas. Today was a another super fun and fascinating day of houses. I sincerely hope you enjoyed your time with me today because I had a great time. Again, I'd love to know your thoughts because we saw some weird stuff today. Um, again, the Utah one, definitely my favorite. The Las Vegas one, second favorite. And then from there, let me just do a quick listing or ranking. Um, the 
maybe the main one and then the Florida one and then the French one purely in terms of like well, you can see me my reflection of my glasses purely in terms of like what I could do with the houses like the layout and how I liked the floor plan so Maybe the Florida one before the main one, but definitely the French one last, I think. Okay, so yeah. Let me know. Uh, that was really fun. And I hope you enjoyed another real estate ASMR video with me. Um, I'll talk to you guys later in another video. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. See you next time. Night night, everybody. Huge.